Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Micah is sporting a new paint job. You got rid of that disgusting yellow. And now it's got it. Now the truck's looking kind of good. Looks great, actually. Last video, you said the truck looked good in yellow. No, it looks terrible in yellow. <laughs> the truck looked good. The yellow, not so much. And Javius, your truck just now, your so. truck just looks good all the time. Thank you. You can shoot underneath me if you want to, Micah. It's all right. All right. Man, everything looks really bad. I gotta stop. Sorry. Sorry. All right, so we're rolling to get our jobs picked up. It's nighttime. We're going to sleep overnight at the facility. Once we pick our jobs up, while they load, we'll go to bed. And in the morning, the truck should be ready to roll. We have arrived at Walbert, our favorite distributor, apparently. We've done two jobs for them tonight now. Oh, no, that's the wrong gear. Mine is not here. It's somewhere else. Weird. Okay. I'm on the other side of the building. How about you, Mike? Are you where Javius is? No, I'm... I took me a long time to get my job so oh okay oh, oh, oh okay i gotta stop shoot what the frick <laughs> why would they do that i'm backing why is my truck got the four ways on and i can't turn them off stuck four ways that's a weird that's a weird that they put me back here There's no dock back here. That doesn't make any sense. But okay, here we are. <laughs> I doing just doing what I'm told. I got that window backwards for somehow. Okay, I'm gonna have to shoot this way now. And back in. That's weird. These one that that window's reversed. I'll have to fix that. Okay. Oh, gosh, I need gas. Do you have gas? I need gas, bad. Okay, we can stop. We'll spend the night here, and then we'll get gas in the morning on our way out. Yeah, that truck, I don't think it's great mileage, so... I know, I put... I, I, that's why I upgraded it now, because I needed bigger fuel tanks. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's a... There's a we go... You want to go fuel up yeah. now, and then sleep, and then hit it? Reset yeah, it? we can do that. Yep. Yeah, yeah I'll go ahead. I kind of missed the spot a little bit, but good enough for government work. <laughs> I'm up on the curb. <laughs> All right, button eight. Parking brake on, and we're going to let them go ahead and load the trailer while Micah's getting gas. I think I still have plenty, but I'll have to look. Once it loads. Oh, well, I can't tell. I still got half a tank. I could probably stop and get some, too, then. 
All right, so let's head on out. By the way, for those of you on YouTube, I want to show you a couple updates I did. I got uh, that cool front-facing air filter. We also changed our wheels over to chrome. They're black at night, though, for some reason, but I've upgraded my trailer and my truck to chrome wheels instead of just the gray steel wheels. I'm not going to be doing a lot more upgrades to this truck because I need to get a bigger truck, but for now, it suffices. So where is this gas station you guys went to? Go out and take a right. And All right. Follow the road around. Yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna fast forward today. I hate traveling at night. You can't see any of the cool scenery. It's a day trip thing, man. Of course, then again, you got to deal with the traffic at that point, but. My wife wants to come downstairs for a minute. She turned the light on. Is everything okay up there, wifey? I think she was she was watching the stream, so I'm sure if she needed something she'd tell me. I'm positive she would tell me. <laughs> It's a sneak attack. I feel naked leaving the route. Uh, bye, route. Truck wash. Hey, perfect. We're going to wash our trucks. Ha, fellas! Don't forget to park for night nights. Don't forget to park for night nights. It's time to go to bed. And I'm gonna pump some gas. Dude, six hundred dollars worth of gas. Look at those beautiful trucks. Ooh, Javius has the rear. That's cool. Did you get that backup light on the side of the truck? I stalled. <laughs> yeah. I meant I meant gas. Come on. You know what I meant. Hello, Javius. Javius. By the time we park, it's going to be morning. Hang on, I can't hear you. I'm in the out the window view, and the truck's really loud. Some people think there's something. Vegas. That's okay. 
<laughs> What's that? I guess. Hey, JVs, I don't have a place to sleep. You mind if I snuggle? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to know. That's why I'm parked over here. <laughs> oh, no, that's I don't want those on. Okay. Trucks are rocking. There's something wrong. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is real trucks. We're not going to sleep. We're just going to go in the convenience store and buy bottles of... Five-hour energy. <laughs> plus whatever else is in there. All right, let's look at the map and take a look at our route. And I've already screwed it all up. Um, there, okay, why can't we go this way? Is that a national park? Oh, it is. Let me see here. Um, reset navigation. You want to go to Bozeman and then down? That's what I was thinking. Um, okay, that'll, it routes us that way. That'll print. The problem is it doesn't want us to go through Glacier. Or Yosemite, but do you guys care? Uh, I don't. No, it no, won't let it. just tell you that you don't. It doesn't want you to do that. Yeah, it's, it wants us to oh. go to Idaho Falls. All right, so I clicked south of Bozeman on 191, and it rooted me there. Yeah, it won't take us through 89. It doesn't look like so. I got it. I got it. I got us going through 89. Oh, you got it through the much of the national park. Yep. How'd you do it? Uh, right where, right where it says the Nomic, Nomic, and then one ninety one, then it goes two eighty seven, and then you it usually goes to the left, right to the right of that little camera icon. I put a two, my second marker. Okay. All right. So we'll follow you then. Okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> That's very cool. All right. Uh, Mike is off. My parking oh, brake is off. Down. Truck, slow down. No. Did you get a bigger engine? No, I got the biggest engine in it uh, that I got. Oh, the 270 is the biggest? Two eight. Well, no, there's a 315, but it doesn't have the torque. Oh, I mean, right, right. It has the torque. But instead of twelve hundred RPM, it's fourteen fifty RPM to get that twelve that thousand. Uh, okay. This is only twelve hundred RPM, so. Better, better torque, torque. torque. Yeah. or more usable. Yeah. At lower RPMs. Mr. Tesla. So we're going to go through the national park tonight. It is an illegal move. We're probably, how much they charge? Like 5,000 bucks, but it's all right. We're making some money back, so it'll be okay. Cause I want to see the park. So we get there by morning. Right. <laughs> Sometimes we can bust through the, if you go through it, Micah, when we go through the gate, going to the, Leaving if you go through going the wrong way, sometimes it doesn't register. So we'll just get real reckless when we're going through the, the leaving gate. They don't find you at the entrance; they find you when you're leaving. So if you can go to the left and go around, I mean, I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to try anyway. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I've had it work before, and I'm certainly going to try it. Get over, Micah. Okay. Got a break. Oh, the, okay, they find you a few miles in now. Great. <laughs> Stopping. So let's see if my chrome wheels have showed up yet. Oh, there they are. They're no longer black. It's weird how it does that. Walbert. You look 
looking at the back of my trailer. I'm almost touching the back of your trailer. So, is the W in the middle... Like, Pixelated? Yeah, really not yes. sharp, straight lines. So. Yeah, it's cruddy. It's like super low res. Yeah, oh, that's, yeah, that's a good point, Red Alpha. Yet another reason why I like the real company's mod. I mean, yes, it does 44 for sure. Especially that I because I don't have the back wheels. This one in particular is a very tight turning radius. Um, but yes, it does. It is it is easier to turn than the the long nose trucks. That guy was going right through. A drifting truck. <laughs> A racing truck. Yeah, you ever, see, you ever see them race the trucks before? All right, we're heading towards butt. Oh, Butte, sorry. <laughs> sorry, my mistake. I'm like, why is my engine so loud? Oh yeah, I forgot to roll my winder up. Got the green light. Green light, go. I probably won't have it by the time we get there, but yeah, I might. Oh, it's yellowing. It's aging. <laughs> Go towards the butt. <sighs> it's getting late at night in real life. Actually, it's only nine o'clock. Welcome to Montana. Wait, we're already in Montana. Whoa, back off. Dodge Ram. That's what I thought. Oh, that's right. Jackson Hole and also the park are in Wyoming. Somehow I always end up being far behind everybody. What? I was asking what speed, but... I'm still climbing. It doesn't really matter because I turned the depth on, so... There you go. Looks like we got construction maybe up ahead. Which lane? Like Not sure yet. It's <laughs> okay. Not sure. It's false alarm. Okay. Right, I'm gonna go to the left lane. I might be able to pass this guy, I don't know. Wildlife crossing? There's disarray up ahead. Seen the video clips of the Dakar rally truck coming over a sand dune when they was doing the Dakar rally in West Africa. I mean, I've seen the Dakar rally before, and I'm familiar with the Tatros and the, the trucks that they use for that. Oh, man. You got a Mustang on your right there, Javes. You're not clear. Okay. Thank you. Bet you're gonna pass him, Mike. I did. <laughs> the truck. Yes, I have 44. I've got videos on it on my channel, actually. So long, QB. Have a good night. Oh man. I'm in the wrong lane. Hey, 
And it's a pretty good game, 44. It's not great. It's. I, I was hoping it would be based on the RC crawlers. It's based on rock crawling trucks with some unrealistic stuff. I don't know. It's just it's a little weird how it works, but it's it's a good game. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but it is, yeah, it, it it's weird. It kind of is like, uh, it's kind of RC trucks, but they have diesel engines. It's just it's it's weird. I, I don't know or uh, gas engines. I don't know how to explain it. Other than that, it's a little weird. It doesn't really, but it's a fun, it is still a good game. So there you go. There you go. Claim three. Good grief. Slow down. Slowing down. Not sure why these guys are going so slow, but yeah, Snowrunner is much better. But it is better at rock crawling physics. I hate the gates. I always end up hitting the gates. I'm like, ugh. Looks like we're supposed to be in the left lane. Yeah. Javius is running the same mod that I'm running. We have to be over. There's a car next to me. Yeah. Oh, I gotta pass this. Oh man. Oh no, we were supposed to go right there. Oh no, that's right. We're following Micah. Sorry. I was going by my GPS. I think my stupid expensive steering wheel is flaking out. What? Which one do you have? Logitech G29, so it's not the super expensive one, but it's... They weren't cheap. <laughs> more than I needed. How long have you had it for? Two years. I mean, I've had... I'm probably going on eight years on mine. <laughs> I bought it back when they came out. <laughs> I think the first year... I got it the first year they came out. Or second year. Well, the so the turn signals in the four ways are just flaking out and turning on by themselves. Hmm. Like if I turn on a turn signal, it'll turn the four ways on. Oh. Serious. Um, and then they won't turn off. I have to play around turning the light, trying to turn them on and off, and the turn signals in the four ways. And the other thing that happens is I'll just be driving along. I won't even really be doing any input. And it'll pop up. It's like it doesn't see it. It tells me to use uh, A and D to steer the truck. Oh, oh, so weird. Paused and I have to hit F1 to unpause it. The steering wheel will go through its, you know, its start up, turning the, turning the wheel both ways. It's like your uh, your cable's going bad. It's like disconnecting, it sounds like. Maybe. I don't know how my cable's going bad. It just sits there. Like, I don't... My, my wheel's set up permanently. There. My turn signal just turned on by itself. Oh, weird. Uh, my four ways, sorry. Huh. Or like there's a short in the system somewhere or something. So here's the thing. I didn't have a I don't have a button set up on my steering wheel for the four ways. Oh weird. <laughs> I use the keyboard for that. Oh. So Well that's really weird. Not my steering wheel flaking out, maybe it's just the game. Or the keyboard. Maybe your keyboard's flaking out. It's the and only game that happens in anything weird happens in, so. Any spills recently? I just stepped in. No. Alright, traffic might be stopping up here. Be careful. Use the truck ram. <laughs> Nope. Ooh. 
<laughs> you can come over, my guy. Got a block. Oh, they're gonna move. They're moving now. What a really bad place to stop. Terrible. Yeah, at least on the downhill side. Looks like you should have got over after all. This AI is terrible. <laughs> Welcome to traffic. I, I mean, AI I, was so much better when the game first came out. It's 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 co-op is what it's it's the multiplayer that makes it so bad. If you go drive by yourself, you won't have these problems. It's because of multiplayer. And they say that when you use it, they're like, your experience may change. That includes issues with the AI. So yeah, it, that is true. It's still good if you play single player, but it's just, you know, that's the price we pay for having traffic in multiplayer. Yeah, we're going to a beautiful place here tonight. It's going to... Ooh, wow, look at that. Everyone <laughs> says, that's actually how my traffic responds in my single-player game. Yeah. I blocked that guy on purpose. So I want to get caught up with these guys. I am full tilt right now. Yeah, we're knock that off. car back. There you go. Oh, we're getting off here? Yep. Yep, we're getting off. Shiitake mushrooms. Okay. Keep on rolling. Don't you dare. With the garbage truck? No, the semi was going to get in my uh. lane. <laughs> We're in Bozeman, home of the film festival, or many film festivals. <laughs> Why Bozeman? We don't know, but I guess people from Montana can't stand like all the people moving in. <laughs> like there's a lot of movie stars and stuff that are leaving California and moving to Montana and the the, the local residents are not happy about it. For whatever reason they all pick Bozeman. Because I think the weather's real nice here. But all the time. Like California. And there's like skiing nearby and stuff like that. Turning right White down. Brain. Yeah, it's a gateway to Yellowstone. Yep. I think that's the park we're going to go through is most likely Yellowstone. Yeah, but why would you want to why would you want to move to one of the world's largest volcanoes? <laughs> right? I think we're going left up here, Mikey. I'm going to pull up. Javis, you... The road, just, the road just bends right. Okay. Ignore my turn signals and so forth because they're not working. Okay. <laughs> Alright, give me audibles. That's why I call hey, it Zorlund. Turn. Yeah. I need to get over. Uh, oh, you can stay in that lane. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to. I'll let you over. I just, I thought, I, I didn't know which side we need to be in, so I figured I'd stay over here. That way I can let you guys over if we need to. I'm 
my GPS, it looks like we can stay in the right lane. Oh, that sounds cool, 44. Pedro said they live next to the largest volcano so they don't suffer. <laughs> when it goes, there will be no... Because, you know, when that thing blows, the, <laughs> we might have like like 40 years of snow. <laughs> Red light. It might snow quite a bit. <laughs> and so, because the whole earth will be blocked out with black smoke and the temperature will drop. And so at least they won't have to suffer. <laughs> and us in Ohio, we'll be okay because we already know how to handle that. It'll be Florida, Florida that really suffers. Earth pimples, right? My brain keeps switching the switch up halfway through the gearbox. I don't know why I'm doing that, because it's not... I never did it before, but recently I've been flipping into high... high uh, The high-range gears when I want to stay in low-range. Yeah. I'm not passing you, Micah. I'm just... Pulling up next to you. I could pass myself in, my, in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. You have to just eat some deer and then live another year or two and slowly fade into the blizzard. Cuz there'll be no grass. It'll be like uh it'll be like a Game of Thrones where the winter just never ends. <laughs> oh man, that'd be horrible. Winter is coming. Lord Stark or the Book of Eli that's such a great movie last fuel up before we get into the park I'm doing okay light is green we're going for it going for an inspection I'm clear. Hello. You clear, Javes? It wants me to go in. Sorry, they had to blow a left. I went through and survived. Seventy six eight one eight. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be pretty. Yeah, I don't have the... No, I don't want to stop. That's a pretty heavy truckload, actually, 71,000. But you were heavier before, so... But now we're going to be going into some serious mountain country. Look at how pretty this is. Man, I want to go out west. Urgh. It's so beautiful. Yeah, but you don't want to go right now anyway. Liza's too little. I just want to go by myself. Oh. <laughs> Bye, Moni. It's selfish. No, Eliza would not enjoy that. She would go nuts. I don't want to wait 10 years, though. I, I just want to go. No, I'd, I'd say like when she's five or six. Yeah. It should be easier to... If we could get a camper or something, it would make it a lot easier. That sounds good to me. I should have bought a lottery ticket the other night. I think I told the story on stream, but I don't remember if I did or not. I'm gonna, but I'm going to tell it now. I went to the drive... I told Micah. I went to the drive through and they were playing Faith No More. And I'm like, I said to the guy at the counter, because he's like, yeah, Faith No More rocks, man. And I'm like, I know. 
I said, do you remember when, like, this, around the same time, like, Paul's Boutique came out from the Beastie Boys? He's like, oh, yeah, it was a great album. And I'm like, yeah, it was good stuff, you know. And I, and I drove, I left, and I realized I, le- I had forgotten um, to get my wife a chocolate bar. She wanted a chocolate bar. So I went back, and as I was pulling in, oh, the Beastie Boys came on. And he's the guy at the counter's like, no way. And I'm like, I know, it's crazy. Like, what are the chances that the be they play music there at the drive thru? So it's like, he's like, oh my gosh, it's the Beastie Boys. Like, we were just talking about that. I'm like, man, I should buy a lottery ticket. But then I didn't. Stupid. Next week, it'll be found out that the like Powerball $50 million jackpot was just won by somebody who bought a ticket from there. <laughs> I was like, shoot, I should have bought the ticket. Yeah, it's, this is gorgeous. <laughs> I'm going to take my rock crawlers out west. We could chase off snakes with them. Oh, sh- shiitake Great. mushrooms. Sorry, I misshifted anyway. I'm going down to a lower gear. Gosh, this is steep. I know, this is one thing I wish I could do in this transmission. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Rock Chuck's oh, true. You. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, the river? Yeah. And the mountains. This looks a lot like Washington State, too. Washington has a lot of places that look like this. Now, why couldn't we have a map like this in farm sim? Rock trucks. I know. Well, they can't do the maps. They, they're they still not up to this level of detail in their game. It looks good, but it doesn't have the feel that this does. So we're cutting through Yosemite. I believe this is Yosemite National Park. Or is it Grand Teton? Pretty sure it's yellow, yellow Jellystone. Because <laughs> Grand Teton's not closed up. Oh, not Yosemite. I'm sorry. Yellow, yeah, Yellowstone. <laughs> Yosemite. Yosemite, California. No, this is going to be Yellowstone. Sorry. You know, with Yogi Bear. Oh, actually, wait. Yogi Bear is Yosemite, isn't he? Or is he Yellowstone? Oh, God. Oh, Jelly Stone. Jelly Stone. Stone. Okay. okay. That's Chicago, I think. Chicago? The Chicago Bears? Illinois. 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 All right, we don't have to do 70 here. We're not. I'm not even doing 50. I know. Okay, I just hit 55. 50. Big Buck Creek. All right, slow down for town. Yosemite Town, Madison River. We gotta do a right turn up another block. Left turn. Oh, this is West Yellowstone. Do you want to left so, turn? Yeah. Okay. Stay in the left lane, Arthur. Yes, sir. I'm back. Red, red light. Green light, go. Four ways. Aha. Yeah, because we're not going to the Idaho Falls. We're cutting through Yellowstone National Park. In a very illegal maneuver. But we're smaller trucks because we're flat fronts, so it shouldn't matter. And I'm really short compared to you guys because I got my little my little pup trailer. Well, it's my mid-trailer. My 44-footer. Oh, God. American I Motel. Did it again. The American Motel. We'll be staying at the American. 
Who can we stop at Drake's? Hot a burger. Mm, that sounds good. Stopping. Oh, that's cool, Red Alpha. Hey, look at that. No, when you get to the light arc, look straight ahead. There's a big bear. Gosh, I, big bear. I, I I've been to Yellowstone. I don't remember where we stayed. Gosh, but yeah, I remember the town. I do remember the town looking just like this. Yeah, and in fact. We went, I gosh, was it here that we went to the IMAX theater? I think it was. They had like a just in general, like West IMAX experience. There's a cool building on the left side. Oh, yeah. There's and on the right. There's the Yellowstone Museum. Oh, yeah. There's the bear down there. Yep. So busy looking, I'm not doing a very good job shipping. Left lane or something up here, or what's going on? No, it's fine. We have the. All I right. forgot we have the the things turned off, so it won't matter. We're not going to get fined. Welcome to Yellowstone National Park. There's admissions. Oh, look to the left. Oh, gosh. That's beautiful. We have official business. Oh, wow, it's pretty. Yeah, this whole area is beautiful. All right, stopping. All the geysers in the valley, like, smoking and stuff. It's really cool. Old faceful... Though I heard there was an, uh, an earthquake, and then ever since then it was not reliable. Wow. I was not paying attention. But I saved it. Buffalo. They got to add that to farm sim, Buffalo. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing the buffaloes and stuff. And the mooses. We saw... Um, <laughs> I saw Moose and Bill Clinton in, in the uh, wilds behind Jackson Hole. <laughs> I know what? I've told that story too many times, so you have to figure that one out. But I saw both on the same day. Hey, there's a moose. There's a cavalcade. Wow. I saw the president and the moose. I didn't actually see him. I just saw his truck he was in. Oh, there's all the geysers back there. I don't know if you guys saw them smoking back in the background there. The Yellowstone River also has a very large canyon that looks like the Grand Canyon. It's like about a mile deep. And I see geyser smoke coming up here somewhere. On the right. Oh, yep. Yeah, the natural features. Yep. Oh, it's so pretty. Yep. Okay, there it is. There's the basin. Yep. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, I walked on all those trails and stuff as a, as a teenager. And really wanted to jump in the hot springs. I'm like, man, that it's probably too hot, but man, that looks like it would be nice to be in there, like a luxury. The, the, the water's so blue. It's really cool. Yep, yeah, I've been here. Good night, Cam. Hopefully see you tomorrow. Yeah, there you go, 44. What did you say, James? Slowing down. Slowing down. Well, you got to win a bagel in front of you. <laughs> That's a caravan. Where's your proper British? British yeah, the, car the caravans. Uh, oh, I know. Right, Red Alpha. Exactly. Stay on the trail. Oh, mountain lion. Do you guys see that off to the right? No. No. I'm trying to remember if Yellowstone is where we saw the buffalo, like, blocking the road and letting its, like, wives pass. And a bunch of females went past. And the 
he just stood on the road and looked at us and was drooling. And then he went past us and then he was like, but he kind of like just stood there. And then like when they were halfway across, he was just like, and then he slowly turned and walked across the street the rest of the way after his, his wives had passed. I was like, wow, he could really crush the car. Yeah, I'm positive that was the trip because we had a, a Dodge Intrepid. And I remember that was like being in that car and thinking we were going to get crushed. Nope, that was it. <laughs> this caravan driver is being a caravan driver. I've heard that there's bobcats in the area, Zorlod. Uh, we definitely have coyotes. They're in our backyard howling at night sometimes. And, of course, we have the barred owls that are back there going, you know. <laughs> they make that weird noise. At first, I thought it was raccoons, but it's it's actually barred owls, and they call back and forth. Yeah, they have to, you know. But yeah, you're right; they did cut a lot out. But hey, we saw a bobcat and we saw some buffalo, so that was cool. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, I've heard there's bobcats in the area again. I'm like, oh great. Well, we got so many deer, they're bound to come back. Like, you can't not have those in the area with the millions of deer. They're just, they, they're like, what? hey, they're hungry, and we got food. Where in the heck did that lake come from? Oh, wow. Oh, uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of raccoons, too, right? They become bobcat food. Just a little snack. Ooh. <gasps> okay, that's... Oh, what lake is that? I forget what that... That's the Grand Tetons over on the right there, Micah. Oh, okay. Jackson Hole? No, that's not what... It might be Jackson Lake. I, I can't remember what... No, it's... it's. Is it Jenny Lake? I think it's called Jenny Lake. Yeah, that's the Grand Tetons. Jenny. Ooh. Jenny. Yep, it is. Okay, Zor Zorlot is agreeing. That is Jenny Lake. Yeah, it's beautiful. So we, when we saw President Clinton and the moose, we were not on this side of the lake. We went down a dirt road that went right along the bottom of the mountains, and that's where we saw him and the moose. But we were going on the uh, the western side of Jenny Lake. We came up on the eastern side and then went back down that dirt road to Jackson Hole. It was a long trip. It was like a six-hour trip. But we went all the way down there. And then there was, you know, there's some things, if I remember right, maybe I'm wrong about this, but I think you can take a cable car up to the top of the mountains. Um, I don't know if it was Moose Johnson Road. <laughs> right, Jackson Hole, south of Jackson, right. Jackson Hole is where they ski, right? And then Jackson's the city that's nearby. But we would, yeah, we went down to the south and then stopped down there. Yeah, okay, yep. But yeah, it was really cool. So I, if I remember right, though, there was a, there was some kind of cable car or something that you could take up to the top of the mountains. And we did. And it was crazy. Are you waiting for us, Mr. Micah? No. Okay. I don't have to wait in this thing. <laughs> ah, this dang caravan. Oh, he's, I'm going around him. Look at that. He came out underneath me. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. Of course, I'm the one that... I'm in the wrong there, but... Deer. Oh, that's cool, sir. A lot. Okay, so it probably was Moose Johnson Road then. I don't know. That's funny, though. It's a funny name. 
Are you sure it's not an elk? No Could antlers. Female. Yeah, right. Where do you see mooses in Bill? No, he happened to be, he was in Jackson that day. And we figured that out afterwards that it was him. So we, we, uh, it was back when he was president. And um, my mom and I were vis out, out there and we went down that road and we saw the moose. And then there was a black uh, suburban with American flags on the front. And they waved us over. So we pulled over and he just sat there and a cavalcade of black suburbans went past i'm like whoa what's that <laughs> like six of them <laughs> and they all had american flags on the front and then he pulled out and followed behind them and uh i just got i think my daily charge just came out yep. i know they're gorgeous the the grand tetons are just beautiful wow. look, look at that make sure i'm not crashing into anybody but look at that view Yeah, it's it's stunning. Reduce I know I saw. I'm go any slower. Make sure I'm not crashing, but I want to get a good shot for the front cover. There we go. That'll be a good shot right there. Um. Yeah. So anyway, it's uh. Oh, Mills. Whoop, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> well, maybe it's maybe it's Moose Johnson in some places and Moose Wilson in other places. But anyway, uh. So we got back to our hotel. We were staying in Jackson Hole. And uh, we got back to our hotel, and, and sure enough, um, there was a news bulletin that he was visiting that day. And I'm like, oh, my God, that was President Clinton. She, my mom's like, oh, that makes sense. Did you just let me buy on purpose, Micah? Well, I thought we could stop and let Arthur take a photo, but. Yeah, that's cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let me get pulled next to you. Hang on. Well, we, we got to get next to Javius real quick. Okay, you go for it. Yeah, go ahead. We'll block traffic. So you go next to him, and then I'll go next to you, and we'll get a nice picture of those video that those uh, crap. I'll let this car, this red car, through, and then I'm gonna go. That should be a good line. We should pull forward a bit more. Well, no, that that screen. Might, me, I don't know. Oh, I might, did I just rub you? Sorry. No, that's right. <laughs> I touch your truck. Do you want me in front of Javius a little bit, depending on what your camera Yeah, pull up just a hair. Pull up just a hair. There. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Oh, crap. Okay. Now stay there. Don't move. Yeah, I'm going to pull forward. And then Javius, pull forward a bit. <laughs> this is like that, that magic moment in Lord of the Rings when they just happen to all be lined up like a photograph for the Fellowship of the Ring. There we go. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Uh, hang on, let me get a real photo too. F12. I think that took a picture. Print screen if it didn't. Okay. Say cheese. All right, go ahead. Veg. Uh, who's leading? Go ahead. Whoever's leading, go ahead. Let's get this trucking on the road. Javis, you go ahead next. <gasps> oh no, they're coming in. Crap. Oh, he's got a boat. Look out. <laughs> I'll, blo I'll block the Winnebago. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was nice. Nicely executed there. I did it again. God. Skipping gears. What happened, James? All of a sudden you plopped down to... Yeah. I don't know. I reached over to touch the... To turn the four ways off. And... Man, we got, we got done just in time with that rain coming in. Nice trip. That was really cool. Thanks, guys. That was neat to go through the park and stop and get a shot like that. That'll be cool. Oh, elk. Elk Park. 25. A giant mosquito. Are you sure it wasn't a Canadian soldier? They look like giant mosquitoes with really long legs. I doubt they would be in Louisiana, but they might be. The bugs are taking over the world. Come on, come on, come on, come on, light. Oh, we're almost there. Oh, wow. No.
nobody's the wiser. Thank God for the flat front. <laughs> it was about to be a hair flatter. <laughs> I see your blinkers just came back on again. <laughs> see what keys they're set to, Javius. Set to the F key on the keyboard. That's well, it. Oh, weird. Oh, look at that! So this is where Philo Beto, uh, any which way you can was filmed. Why are you stopping in the freaking intersection? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's where they filmed that scene where he was fighting. Which movie? Uh, Clint Eastwood, Any Which Way You Can. I'll have to watch. I'll have to see it. Okay, on the, on the left of me is those horn Yeah. Matches. They yes. fight in there, and then if you come up to this light, and you're going to take a right, there's a building to the right forward. Okay. And that's where they filmed uh, one of the fight scenes. Okay. Oh, that's cool. The Elk Antler Arch. I think there's more than just that one arch, though. There are, like, I think they're, they're around the west. Like, there's more than one. So this is where they were fighting, though, in the movie? Yeah. That's hilarious. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, there's several here in town, I guess. Yep, if it has really long legs, that's most likely a Canadian soldier. Look at look it up, 44, and you'll see. But that's that's the description of a, a Canadian soldier. It has a long body, but it looks like a mosquito, but then it has very long legs. Like, like yeah. And if that's the case, then it's a Canadian soldier. We see those, I don't want to say frequently, but we get them occasionally up here because they come down from Canada. We have a plague here called the midges. They don't bite. They only live for a day or so when they spawn. They spawn about four or five times a summer. And during the spawn, for like three or four days, your house and your bushes and everything along the lake gets completely coated with these with these midges. Running no, they're not the mayflies. The mayflies are different. The mayflies look like little dragons. These look like mosquitoes. Um and uh the, yeah, the mayflies have two tails and like a like heart-shaped wings. Uh yeah, the midges the midges are different. They are they're like little mosquitoes and they no, the mayflies are disgusting too. They're just as bad. But I think mayflies only come once a year. The midges come several times. And literally, like, you, they get all over your face. They get all over your car. They go up your nose. Oh, they're horrible. The love bugs are terrible, 44. That is, I'd say out of all of them, the love bugs are the worst because they stick to your car and you can't get them off. Love bugs are horrible. At least the midges are little, and they're really tiny and super fragile. Like, so you just, like, touch them and they die. Um, but at least they don't bite, but they're, um, yeah, they basically, they live in a larval state for a long time. Oh yeah. See the mayflies make a big mess. They're gross. They're hard. They're a lot bigger. Mayflies are cool looking though. They do look like, they look like dragons or dragonflies, but. Start scrubbing, yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh, there's the midges. Anyone that's seen the midges, they know. They just go right up your nose. They go in your mouth. They're small, so they go into everything. Ugh. I we used to. I grew up in a, a neighborhood where we had midges every summer, and they would be in the. You, you'd walk past the bushes, and they go like in this huge swarm. And then at nighttime, you just hear like this because they were everywhere. <laughs> like the the whole outside, you could hear them. It was just the sound. Yeah. But yeah, they they're in larval state for a while and then they're they go into their adult state and that's only for a couple days and then they go back to the lake and they die and they just become food for all the animals. Yeah, the yeah, the mayflies are a lot bigger and a lot grosser. We didn't get those where I live. Those are up by like Cedar Point and stuff like that. You'd get mayflies up there. That's nasty. Ugh. 
Mayflies are gross too. Like when the midge lands on you, it's so light you don't even realize it. Mayflies have like those double like wiggling tails, and they 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 have like a curved segmented body, and they're they're just and they're hard. It's like it's like having a uh, uh, ugh, like a worm land on you. They're just they're nasty. Whereas the midges are just kind of like you don't really notice them. However, when you smush them into your face and stuff, it's like oh, there's like dead midges on your face. Oh, that sucks, 44. <laughs> well, that would make sense. Turning right, okay. I'm a little further behind you, so. Right, because they're too busy eating the bugs, yeah. Yeah, so midges are just a plague on northeastern Ohio. Ugh. But mostly they just live along the lake. You don't really get them. Like, once you're a block or two away from the lake, you don't get them like that. It's just on the lake, that because they, they come up out of the lake and live in the bushes and stuff. They mate, and they go back and die. The males have these. What? Sorry, once okay. it's putting me in the exact same spot as Mike is going. Okay, well we got time. We'll finish it up. Well, that was a really pretty drive. Good job, Mike, on the navigation there. Um, Look at that! He just rams that thing right in there. I think I am also going in the same spot that you guys are going. So. Between the yellow Kenworth and the forklift. Yeah, that's where they got me, too. I can see the flashing light. At least it's a... a uh, it's not, we're not backing into the blind spot. Excuse me. Come on, son. Excuse me. There we go. Well, that certainly was a beautiful drive. I like this truck with the silver. That's cool. Much nicer looking now. It's like a fancy truck. That truck just makes so much noise. I love it. Do you have your Jake brakes left on, Mike? I'd like to just keep it on. Yeah, they're always on. Okay, because when you slow down, it's like... Brrr, which I like. <laughs> I like that truck. I got little weepy hoods. Look at my pretty truck. <laughs> Almost got it that time. It was close. Yeah. I like this yellow truck. <laughs> What kind of truck? Oh yeah, the the uh, lift truck. No, the Kenworth. Oh, on the other side, I just, you just hit him. <laughs> He's beeping his horn at you. That's Micah. One of you beeping. Is that your city horn, Micah? What? What? Nope, it must not have been Micah. No, these are my horns. Ooh. You got two different horns, huh? Yeah, this is the stock one, I think. These are the horns on top. That's my city horn. What? Pl hit one of your horns, Micah? We could almost make Brass Monkey that funky monkey if we did. <laughs> If we did them in just right order. <laughs> hey, do it again. These are both. Do both again. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> Wait, all together. <laughs> uh. 
That's horrible sounding. That is just bad. I'm turning the Blinkos off. Little window down. Action going on. The worst ASMR video ever. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> You're not going to sleep with that going on. Honk. Honk beep. All right. I think I'm going to overshoot it, but we'll try. Steer the other way. Yeah, I got to I'm gonna end up on the curb, aren't I? Eh, not so bad. I think I just hit the truck. No, I didn't touch it. Come on. That's the beep. Okay, the beeping is the truck. The truck uh, thing going off. This is the truck alarm. I tr I triggered it. Right, get, move that left truck, and I'd move the other. Move your dang yellow truck, please. They did that on purpose to make it a nightmare. Okay, well we got in there. Um, parking brake on, truck in neutral, engine off. Let's see, electrics off. Okay. Unload the trailer. We should have go up a level. Nope, still level eight. So I was level eight. Somebody asked earlier. I can't remember who it was. I think it was might have been Zorlon, but I don't remember. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Those of you watching the stream, hopefully you also enjoyed the stream. Yeah, that was the last job, correct? And so, anyway, I will see you guys possibly later tonight for some late-night Minecraft with the wifey. It depends on how she's doing and how the baby's doing. But the baby's doing better today, so I think we might be clear. But we'll see. Uh, otherwise, we'll be on tomorrow. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And we'll see you later, guys. Bye.